Under the cover of darkness, a female blue crab loaded down with millions of eggs swims to the surface to ride tidal currents toward the ocean. Within days, her larvae will hatch and will be transported out to sea where they'll spend the first few weeks of their life. The complex migratory behavior of the mother is critical to the survival of her offspring. It ensures that they are released at a time and place that is suitable for early development. What controls this migration? What triggers them to swim toward the surface and back down again? How do they synchronize their vertical migrations with the tidal currents? For the past several years, Dr. Rick Tankersley and his students at the Florida Institute of Technology have been investigating the mechanisms underlying the complex behaviors involved in the down estuary migration of spawning female blue crabs. Using a variety of techniques, including ultrasonic telemetry to track the movement patterns of individual crabs, they've been able to decipher the proximal cues that trigger this behavior and the role of tidal currents in transporting crabs to coastal inlets. Blue crabs are common inhabitants of estuaries of the western Atlantic Ocean. They are easily identified by their olive green-brown shell and ripe blue frontal region. Like all members of the family Portunidae, or the swimming crabs, blue crabs can also be distinguished from other crab species by their fifth pair of walking legs, which are modified as paddles and used for swimming. Throughout their distribution, blue crabs support valuable commercial fisheries. In the Indian River Lagoon, blue crabs are currently ranked fifth among all commercial and recreational fisheries. As adults, blue crabs are found throughout the estuary, but their densities are greatest in low salinity regions. Mating occurs during the warmer months of the year. Female crabs, easily distinguished from males by their semicircular abdomen, and red-tipped claws mate only once after undergoing a final molt. Male crabs, on the other hand, continue to grow and molt and may mate several times in a single season. Mating occurs in upper estuarine and marsh areas. Following insemination, female crabs migrate seaward to high salinity areas near the mouth of the estuary to spawn. Females place newly fertilized eggs onto the pleopods, forming a large egg mass or sponge under the abdomen. Newly deposited eggs are full of yolk, which give the egg mass a characteristic yellow-orange color. However, as the embryos develop and the yolk stores dwindle, the egg mass gradually turns dark brown and eventually black. After insemination, females leave mating grounds to go to the spawning area with the help of ebb tide currents. This form of transport is called ebb tide transport. Using her legs as paddles, she treads water near the surface and rides the currents downstream. Before the tide changes again, she swims toward the bottom and stays there while currents are flooding. Laboratory studies conducted by Dr. Tankersley and his colleagues revealed that crabs possessed an endogenous tidal rhythm in vertical swimming that is closely synchronized with the tides. When placed in large five-foot columns and monitored continuously using a time-lapse video, crabs periodically swim towards the top of the tube during periods of an expected ebb tide. The crabs remain near the bottom of the tubes during expected periods of flood currents. Under constant conditions and in the absence of tidal cues, crabs continue to exhibit a tidal rhythm in migratory activity that is synchronized with the local tides. Once females reach the spawning grounds, larvae are released near the time of slack water before ebb tide. Although a single egg mass or sponge may contain millions of larvae, hatching is often rapid and brief. Initially, a few larvae hatch. They release a chemical contained within the eggs that stimulates the female to rise on her walking legs, probe her egg mass with the tips of her legs, and rapidly flex her abdomen. As additional larvae hatch, pumping becomes more rapid and vigorous. Finally, the female crab uses her walking legs to free the eggs from her abdomen and break up the remaining portions of the sponge. Following hatching, blue crab larvae pass through several larval stages before molting to the post-larval or megalope stage, in which they return to estuaries. Once in the estuary, megalope settle, metamorphose, and undergo early juvenile development in seagrass and algal beds.